We are heading off to the cinema to go and watch Napoleon. It's half 12 and we're gonna get cozy in the cinema. It's freezing and we're excited. Matt's got a hangover and I don't. Okay. Actually charging down very quickly because I just found out there's no advert on before the movie and we want time to get a little drink to take him with us. It's at a posh cinema called The Depot and yeah no advert which is exciting yeah. it's good. This is one of my favourite little signs here it says slow toads crossing how sweet how are you feeling about Napoleon? Yeah, good. Excited. Excited. Want to get down town? <laughs> yeah. Well, we are running. Yeah. We've only got five minutes. We're going to get a glass of wine. Oh. Have we got our tickets? Yeah, so there's just a barcode. Okay. We'll give you a review after. Feel thoughts and opinions. completely insane and I know I'm really gonna regret putting myself on the internet looking like this but I have just been editing today's vlog and I've been to a spin class today and everything I'm like I've been in the office I'm bamboozled and I realized that I didn't end the vlog and I also didn't tell you about Napoleon the movie 
And I also wanted to show you a few things that I got in Lewis. And then also something really sweet that my friend sent me, which I've already started eating. I've actually had three already. I'm feeling a bit crazy today. <laughs> um, let me just show you what my friend got me first of all. So she got me, while we were in Lewis, my friend stayed here just for the night with her friend from home and they went to a gig and everything. So they just stayed the night and they sent me these amazing brownies. They are so good. I mean, I've had three already, as you can see from here. They're like those little brownie bites and they look small, but oh my God, they are so rich. They're absolutely amazing. And they came in this really cool package as well, like pink. And they're called, what are they call Bad Brownies. This is the package, Bad Brownie. And life's too short for an average brownie. That is very true. So this, these are the flavours I got. I got Malteser, Biscoff and Oreo. Oh my God, I actually don't even know which one's my favourite. I think the Biscoff, so delicious. Matt's actually out tonight, but when he gets back, I know that he will die for these. So thank you so much, Dawn and Leanne. That is so sweet. I'm very pleased with these. They'll keep me going. Um, okay, so Napoleon. Napoleon was fantastic. I'm like not a very big... Actually, let me just get my cup of tea. I am not a very big long movie sort of gal. I get really like agitated in the cinema if it's like a three-hour movie. The last one that springs to mind... No, sorry, I've got two... The last two that spring, some, that spring to mind that I had to endure was Oppenheimer. I love the story. I mean, I don't love the story. Obviously, it was a very interesting story, but like horrendous. But the length of that film was completely unnecessary. And like all the black and white scenes, I had no idea what was going on at those parts. So that one was a, f a firm no. And then also June. I went to see June, unfortunately, with my brother and Matt. And... I absolutely hated it. So that's my taste in movies. This one was two hours and 37 minutes, I think. It's very precise, but I've got that number in my head. And I just thought it was fantastic. I was hooked the whole way through it. The actor Joaquin Phoenix is in it and he's amazing. And so is Vanessa Kirby and I just love her. I think that for like British film and British actors, um, They've done really well. Like there's Vanessa Kirby was in it. And then I can't remember this guy's name now while I'm saying this, but the other guy who was also in The Crown was also in it. And yeah, just really, really good. It was like, not on the edge of your seat, but more just like fascinating to hear about somebody's life. Um, and the fact that most of it was true. I think there was a few, Matt said there was some kind of historians that were saying a few things. But I feel like most of the story that I will remember is true. It goes right up to the Battle of Waterloo. And yeah, it was great. I loved it. I would highly recommend that you go and see it. Um, and don't be put off by the length because it just really is one of those where you don't want it to end. So I enjoyed it a lot. I am now going to tell you, show you some things that I got in Lewis. So in the little shop closet and bots, I think you could see, I think you saw it in there. Um, in the in the vlog they sell like all sorts of little homeware pieces and like things that you need like candles candle holders doorknobs um soap they have clothes they have cushions the cushion on my bed is actually from closet and box as well which i don't love that cushion to be honest i kind of bought it on a bit of a whim um but I like it because it's supporting a small independent business. Anyway, so this time I picked up, they have amazing tea towels and they're very reasonably priced. So if I just show you this one, obviously I've been using it, but I got this, which is like, it's kind of like a oven glove, like it doubles over. It's just a big kind of, it's not that big, like a tea towel size piece of like thicker, it's like thicker tea towel. And this was like two pounds and I just thought it'd look cute in the kitchen. And then I also got, where is it? I got two of these. I've actually used this already. Just these plain, you know, these are quite, oh, they're from this company. Linen Union, single glass cloth. Um, And I just thought they were quite cute. I got two of them just for 
drying dishes, they're very plain. I'm sure they're like, they must be super cheap because they only cost me two ninety five. So I'm sure they're, they seem good quality though. And then the final things that I got, oh, I need to send these. Okay, I'll not tell my mum about this vlog. <laughs> I got some Christmas cards because they were so cute. So I got this one, which is like, it's giving Peter Rabbit. And I thought that looks like my mum and me, my brother and sister. Isn't that so cute? So I'm gonna send that to her. And then I also got this one. I don't know why. Again, loads of, it says five rabbits tucked up warm. How cute. Oh, it's got a little blurb about the, the illustrator. Molly Mary Elizabeth Brett grew up in Surrey, England, surrounded by animals and nature. The gift of making her animals look thoroughly naturalistic while giving them human characteristics and activities came from her mother, a respected animal painter. Molly began blah, blah, blah. Anyway, very cute. She was born in 1902, Molly, the artist behind these. And then the final thing I got, I've actually not opened yet, so I'll just show you. This was also very cheap. This is a little pinch pot for some salt. Yeah, look, 3 95 like it's such a reasonable priced, oh, there's something in it. Such a reasonable priced little shop. And I thought we actually already have this little strawberry one with our mold and salt. But I thought this would be cute for on the other table. You can't have too many of these little things. So that is my haul. Um, oh, I also wanted to just explain in the vlog I inserted a little clip from a gig that we went to. So on Friday night, we went to see Future Islands. Not Future Islands. God, I'm literally not with it today. We went to see Friendly Fires at the Dome in Brighton. And it was such a good night. The band were incredible. It was just so nice to listen to nostalgic songs and nostalgic music where you kind of... I didn't know all of their songs, of course. I knew maybe like three or four of them. But yeah, it was just good. And I love Brighton. It's like one of my favourite places. I think maybe in the future, Matt and I might eventually move down there. Who knows? But anyway, that is everything that I have to update you all on. I hope you have enjoyed this vlogmas and I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.